picture. Start? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Alright guys, welcome back once again to my channel. This is obviously a little bit different video than any other. Uh, hopefully by the title you guys understand what's going on and by look, obviously what you're looking at. Uh, I have one of my friends that I live with on the camera. He is using his phone, which is actually pretty cool. So hopefully it's a really good quality. Uh, I actually did this part of the video earlier and the camera died and then the card decided to be stupid so I lost that but anyways I currently am in possession of four nerf guns one of them is actually not mine that is the hammer shot that is actually sins and the other one is currently upstairs in my room broken I haven't fully fixed it yet and I don't want to put the stress on the part that I'm working on until I actually uh, fix it so to get right down to it let's start with the hammer shot first First off, this is a very amazing sidearm. It's one of the best that they have right now. It's actually the only sidearm that I know of right now that won't jam. And that is because the barrel is completely open in the front. It is a lever action. Yes, lever action. I'm not very good with all the terms. Uh, Drax says fan firing. Or it's capable of fan firing, which I consider hammer firing, or slam firing. Basically just hold the trigger and if you slam the hammer all the way back and release, it will fire not my personal favorite I mean it is very comfortable in the hand but to reach the lever I have to move my thumb up my hand up on the grip some from holding it normally because obviously that is just a little little bit too much for me so for somebody that's taller such as a guy using camera or drag it will it will be perfect for that now the other two obviously are very similar and that is for very good reason the top one is the zombie strike sling fire from Nerf, and the white one is the uh, Busby Air Warrior Sentinel. And straight out of the box, Sentinel by far hits harder, longer ranges, and also comes with more ammo capacity. The only real differences other than that that make the Sling Fire more preferable are the climbing bars. The Sling Fire is a lot more comfortable, although the Sentinel is a lot stronger, which I will talk about this in a second and the grip. The Sling Fire has a much more comfortable grip compared to the Sentinel, although the Sentinel has a... Also with the climb bar, the Sentinel has a uh, shorter distance, shorter travel distance for full, for, uh, full prime. And as far as the disc goes, you might be able to see the different colors, but this is the stationary blue that it was, and this is just a bunch of silicone that I gooped in there and kind of tried forming. You can, yeah, you should be able to see the ridges relatively well, but it's just silicone all the way around in the groove and in the inside, it's on the top, bottom, and back. It's also on the opposite side, the same way it is here around. This side is a little bit cleaner though, but obviously I still have to work on that. Other than that, uh, they are both relatively ambidextrous, uh, both clip systems, I don't really mind, and they both take whatever clip and whatever dart they have. I also do happen to have the uh, the two twelves here. If you can see the little studs on the side, I do. It is the uh, flip clip. I take it apart because I'm not relatively good with the flip clip. And being as I do have multiple multiple blasters that use clips, I wanted to. It looks like that dart's going to try and come out. I wanted to be able to interchange them without having to have the stupid flip thing. And also, I seem to knock a dart out all the time with it. With the upside down, I seem to knock one of the darts out. So without further ado, let us move back and I don't know, it was about 50 foot I want to say from there to the house. Try and get some shots in and hopefully some footage of the sling fire, what makes the sling fire a little bit cooler in my opinion. First off, I'm going to fire the hammer shot. Um, like I said, I think we're about 50 feet from the house where I'm standing. And I'm, the reason I'm firing in this direction is because the house is there to stop the darts. Plus the wind is also blowing this way, so it will decrease the ranges slightly and probably throw off the darts. But firing that direction, I am guaranteed to find them either way. I'm going to adjust how I'm holding it to put my middle finger on the trigger and hope that gives me a better a, Hopefully it doesn't do anything performance-wise and allows me to wield it easier as I know. Now as for firing these, I honestly haven't fired one, I haven't fired a hammer shot while standing before, 
So, yeah. 20, 30 foot ranges. I don't really care for holding it out. I mean, I know you're supposed to, but I'll try to fire the last two. I don't want to. I don't want to miss and hit my own hand or not fire it completely because that would suck. Yeah, obviously the fan fire hammer or slam fire is kind of variable to the person. But next we're going to do the sentinel. Uh, let me try and take my ring off really quick. Okay, that came off nice and easy. My ring makes it a little bit harder to use. Uh, it's a lot tighter grip in there now, but I already have it. Um, primed and ready to go. But yeah, it is definitely a lot tighter grip. Obviously, the screws are on the opposite side than normal, but as far as anything goes, I probably hold this at my hip because shouldering it, it's a very, even for me, it's a very short. And we're just going to fire through six of these, and I'm just going to hit fire because I don't really think shouldering this would be practical. That one just went all the way to the house and angled up some. And that hit my kitchen sink window. I mean, that is, those are definitely insane distances. Even beating the hammer shot by far and consistent. And that one actually stuck on the house. And so did that one. Oh, one fell. Oh, that was it. So, as we can see, over here, on the Sentinel, the Prime is halfway, and, oh, no. the 8 dart clip, Sin decided to draw on. Now, as far as the Sling Fire goes, I already have one Prime there, too. Uh, the stock is a little bit longer. Grip is definitely more comfortable. I can probably shoulder this one and fire it. But being as I'm going to do this whole six clip in the way that makes the sling fire unique. Oh, also the sling fire has a jam door. Sentinel does not, uh, doesn't really do anything except for allow, allow you clear jams. But Sentinel doesn't have it. And this also has one tap rail. So I would like to put one on the front and give it a regular stock. Oops, I totally forgot about that. But firing angled from the hip is just about the same as the Sentinel, uh, definitely a little bit shorter. Firing level from the hip really sucks, obviously. But the flip fire is definitely a lot, is definitely cool. And that was the last start. So six rounds to eight, definitely a difference. Definitely a little bit of a nuisance. And then for the final 24, one thing I did do, which was kind of stupid and funny, is I, I actually left the little gray piece on that is actually over there. And I put these two together like that. And it, it was funny, but it was like impossible to fire them. So this is basically just, I'm just going to speed through these 12. And I believe it's a green dart at the bottom of each of them. So I'm just going to speed through each of the 12 clips and I don't know, just kind of get a good idea on which one fires faster and more accurately. Once again, I'm going to shoulder the sling fire and then I will hit fire the sentinel because the hit fire, the sentinel stop is a lot shorter. Definitely easy, but one thing I noticed right there is uh, the the times when I pulled the trigger and nothing happened. I I had pulled it forward and then I, I, when I pulled it back, it skipped, so it didn't come back. It didn't uh, prime all the way, which makes it a little bit hard, which makes it kind of suck. But if you're careful in your priming, it's okay. But I hope the Sentinel will perform better.
So definitely the Sentinel fires faster, but still puts a strain on your hand. Uh, don't really have much more I could do here. Might put a little bit more silicone right through here because that's basically where my hand goes. See if I can't get some comfort there. But other than that, that is that. Uh, personal preference, I'll probably take this. I'll probably make this my primary over just about any other gun. Uh, might change that to the sling fire after I get the sling fire mod kit from Osnerf Nerd over in Australia because he made one. $16 that turns that thing into a monster. Still don't know if it outperform the, the Sentinel, but uh, I definitely like them both. Right now, out of the box, Sentinel's the best. And I can't wait to get the snipe fixed and able to be on video for you guys. But yeah, so that's it for there. Definitely Sentinel, and I'm actually going to be looking into Busby uh, pistols because if the Sentinel performs like this, I can't wait to see what, what their version of the hammer shot will do. So, yeah, oh, I will see you guys next time. That actually kind of hurts.